Johnson County, Kansas has passed a mask mandate in its elementary schools for obvious reasons. Young students are unable to get vaccinated as of now and they wanna protect them. But one concerned citizen had a lot to say about it. Let's watch. I'm from Oakland Park and I'm here for the children. There is zero evidence that COVID-19 exists in the world. PCR tests are recalled. This is a pandemic, fake virus, bioweapon jab, fake president. You will not experiment on my children. It's always been about the children. We know you're coming for the children. We will not comply. We will answer to God. People are waking up. Nothing can stop what is coming. You vote yes. You will all be tried for crimes against humanity. Children don't disappear. 800,000 children in the United States disappear. Where do they go? Human trafficking is the real pandemic. The mainstream media doesn't cover it. There's no virus. The media is the virus. The politicians, Hollywood are all involved. Please vote no today. I'm begging you. I want, to thank you, I want you to think real hard about these children. Trump won. And that was Mallory Martinet. Uh, she, uh, you know, listed all the things that she believes, including the fact that uh, she believes that Trump won the election. Uh, she men- mentions trafficking of children, which kind of gives away the fact that she's a QAnon person, um, and thinks that there's zero evidence that there's a pandemic, uh, even though in America alone, more than 617,000 Americans have died from the coronavirus. So I don't know what to do with these people. I don't know how to respond to these people. She claims she only answers to God, but my guess is she answers to all sorts of laws that she abides by. And those aren't laws made by God, those are laws that have been decided by elected officials. So what is, and she claims that children are being experimented on. We're having a conversation about masks. How is wearing a mask an experiment? I, anyway, what do we do with these people? I don't know what to do with these people. No, it's actually really dangerous because there's tons of them and they genuinely believe it, guys. That's the thing that's hard to understand if you're not in their bubble. Like we look at it and you think like, well, that's crazy, but they can't, they don't really think that. No, they really do think it, they, she believes it 100%. She thinks that 800,000 kids have been disappeared in this country. By the way, is their child sex trafficking? Definitely. Is the most abhorrent thing in the world? Definitely, right? 800,000, that's a made up number, right? It is, yep. And, and so, she, but she believes that number instantly. Every doctor in the world says coronavirus is real and we've lost 620,000, more than 620,000 in America, 4 million overall in the world. She says, no, every doctor is lying. Every doctor is lying. A global doctor conspiracy. She thinks that makes sense. And she's not at all alone. If she was a rando, who cares, right? In this country of 330 million people. But polling indicates it's like 10 to 15% of the country. I'm not talking about Republicans. I'm not talking about MAGA. I'm talking about QAnon. Yep. People who believe in things that are nowhere near true, that are totally in outer space. But guys, think about how dangerous it is because what would you do if you thought your kids were at risk? So these people are just loaded up and ready for tremendous anger. Mm-hmm. And if I thought my kids were at risk, man, I'd I'd be dangerous too. You know, it's what's also interesting. Well, to your point, Jenk, she isn't the only one. You're absolutely right about that. She wasn't the only one at this city council meeting. Uh, let's take a look at uh, this one gentleman who has a <laughs> legalized freedom hat. And also, of course, how could you miss that wonderful T-shirt that shows Anthony Fauci looking like Che Guevara? Because mm-hmm. you know what we're doing is communism, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't. I, I look. There's a huge problem with Americans not understanding different economic systems and different political systems. Like because you have media that just throws around words like it's Marxism or it's communism without really explaining 
what those things are. <laughs> so it just it just ends up being a derogatory word that gets thrown around by conservatives in regard to things they don't like. So anything they don't like, it's Marxism, it's communism. Eat your vegetables, it's good for you. It's Marxism. No, it's okay. That literally happened. I when, know, I know. When Michelle, Michelle Obama, Obama, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. She said maybe the kids should eat vegetables too. They're like, communist. I mean, <laughs> I mean Looney Tunes. Yeah. Um, but I also want to point out something that I think I personally haven't done a good enough job on. It, it, who are these people? It, mostly, like, what is their socioeconomic status? Because I think oftentimes when we do these kinds of videos, it looks as though these are people in like poorer parts of the country. But no, actually, if you look at case study after case study in the country right now in terms of vaccine hesitancy, it usually takes place in richer counties. And in this particular case, we're talking about Johnson County, which is Kansas's most populated county and also the wealthiest county in Kansas. And so I don't want anyone to think that like this is, oh, they're just these, you know, poor people and they, they don't know what they're doing. No, these are usually people who come from affluent neighborhoods and I guess have enough time on their hands to spend all day on Facebook to consume all these ridiculous conspiracy theories, which then turn around and harm innocent children and innocent people who are just trying to get past this pandemic. Yeah, and look guys, some of them have anger issues for sure. Some of them have mental health issues for sure. But you know, we can't help but be empathetic because we're, you know, do good or libs, right? And some of them were traumatized as kids and were the victims of sexual assault. And so they think, well, if it happened to me, it probably happens to everyone. So it becomes easier to get them to believe things that aren't true. And the worst people on earth take advantage of that trauma and weaponize it politically and feed them nonsense crap like this, right? And so along those lines, I mean, when she says, though, this is gonna be crimes against humanity, you're all gonna be tried for it. If they get in charge, it's no joke. I mean, Trump said many times that that his political opponents should be arrested. He said Biden should be arrested, Hunter Biden should be arrested. I mean, even arresting their family members, right? And 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 their their, their absurdity knows no bounds. Marjorie Taylor Greene said that there's now corporate communism. That makes no sense. It doesn't have to make sense. And this Trump one has become basically their Baba Booey. They say that at the end and drop it. Right, yeah. and and that's a picture perfect case of it. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you got to do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.